This last week for Rockstar Games has been quite the roller coaster. That's the best way to describe it because originally we had a little bit, a little snippet of gameplay leaked online from a supposedly a developer's son. Uh, it's really insane how that whole ordeal happened, but it seems like his son's friends had a connection with this Rockstar Games developer who just happens to be the head at Rockstar North or a co-head. And I guess they, he may have been showing them snippets of the game, and unfortunately, you just can't trust teenagers. We talked extensively about that in the video. Uh, we all thought maybe Rockstar would go into panic mode. They would start to delete some uh, some of these videos, DMCA it. They kind of did nothing. And I think that was more so, it was just, it's only a 10 second video, who cares? It just shows a little overview of Vice City. The big reveal is just a couple of days away. And that's what we were waiting for. Then it went to YouTube, we saw the countdown began on YouTube, and then people started to mine or data mine the metadata and found that it was only a 90 second video, which is kind of the given with these Grand Theft Auto 6 uh, or Grand Theft Auto Rockstar videos in general. All of them are very, very short. And uh, that's when people started to get extremely excited still. The people were starting to hunt down the trailer and then just bump, bam. Social media got hit with the trailer. It leaked online with a Bitcoin logo on it, and immediately Rockstar had to do it. They just they couldn't let the 144p be a representation of the game. Uh, it looked crappy because of the fact that it wasn't a high definition version. But at least to me, it looked amazing. But to some, it looked underwhelming. But once you see it in that beautiful 4K quality, as we have right here. I mean, it looks stunning in so many different ways. Uh, you've heard me gushing in multiple videos now about all of the, the details, the character models, the animations, uh, the innovative technology, which is clearly on display. You can see some of the Red Dead Redemption 2 effects here, such as the volumetric clouds. You see some ray tracing effects. And again, you get that narrative tease that I'm honestly really excited about, the Bonnie and Clyde theme. I'm really excited to see how all this turns out. And yes, for those concerned that Rockstar was going to... Uh, I guess, not commit to the Florida man theme. They certainly did. They're not holding back. And I don't know necessarily what the concern was that they weren't going to have stuff like this in the game. It very much is here. They understand what Grand Theft Auto is, and they understand what it needs to be to be successful. Now, what's amazing about this trailer, it's been up for 11 hours just on YouTube alone. It has 54 million views. I think the record on YouTube right now for a video it's like a mr beast video i think that was a hundred million this is probably going to surpass it especially once people start waking up from europe and they start to see holy crap this video went up last night uh just truly truly remarkable this whole situation and as you can see 6.7 million likes to only 190,000 dislikes and then yeah a moment of silence in honor of all the loyal fans who didn't live long enough to see this legendary moment we waited 10 years for this moment and it's finally here i love the big crowds of people they give the setting so much more realism and again just people gushing over all of this and i i do have to say the song choice was fantastic but this has broken records for gaming and truly everybody in this industry is just watching with awe and uh there has been some developers talking about this new reveal. We had this one from coming from Del Walker, a developer at Naughty Dog, saying there was a collective sigh of relief from many developers when they revealed it's coming out 2025. Imagine trying to drop up up your upcoming game in 2024 alongside GTA 6. And ultimately, the big thing about this game is that every single developer, every single publisher is going to steer clear of this behemoth of a release. Even with Red Dead Redemption 2, we had like Ubisoft and Activision commenting how they didn't want to release right next to it. But Grand Theft Auto, that is a whole different beast, especially coming off one of the biggest, well, literally the biggest game almost of all time in this industry with Grand Theft Auto 5. The follow-up, just stay away for a couple of months, honestly. Now, ultimately, this whole situation, the fact that the trailer leaked ahead of time, there's just been some disappointment and some anger coming from Rockstar Games and the, the development team behind this because a lot of them just wanted to see this through. They wanted that 9 a.m. reveal to happen and it seems like just none of this really has gone according to plan but maybe that is just the nature of the internet nowadays and how nothing really can be secretive. But uh, we did have this article coming from PC Gamer. Rockstar developers react to Grand Theft Auto 6 trailer leak. This effing sucks. Again, you can understand the perspective. These guys have been working on this game for years. It was in pre-production for like around 10 or so years. Went into full development right around Red Dead Redemption 2's release. And a lot of this work has leaked over the last year. I mean, 
I don't think many of us would have uh, accepted the truth that an hour's worth of Grand Theft Auto 6 development gameplay footage leaked before the official reveal even happened. That's crazy to me, especially because of Rockstar's reputation of being so secretive. And it's just been a leaky fountain the last couple of years with this company, especially in relation to Grand Theft Auto 6. But maybe, maybe that's just a reflection on the, the anticipation behind this game. Now, as you see, Rockstar's hand was forced. They had to reveal the trailer. They just went ahead because they didn't want people seeing the crappy, uh, the crappy footage. And the leaker's account was suspended, but rather than let that pixelated, partially obscured version of the trailer circulate for the next 12 hours, Rockstar went ahead and posted the trailer. And then we had developers reacting. Javier Altman, uh, Rockstar senior gameplay animator, saying, This effing sucks. I was hoping to watch this for the first time along with my fellow teammates and coworkers. I feel we deserved that moment. Another developer, gameplay or graphics programmer Angel Ortiz saying, I'm actually not going to watch this until I'm in the office with the people I made this with and who worked so effing hard to make it happen. Uh, another developer saying, or Rockstar senior programmer Connor saying, effing seriously, uh, sorry for the rage, but the trailer leak is just so disheartening. I was really looking forward to watching the premiere with everyone, a lot of people here. Uh, development operations director Alex Manish, he again has that that emoji. You can understand the anger coming from this tweet. Another senior gameplay designer saying, "Enjoy, folks. Would have been nice to do this all with all of you at the same time." And then we did see again all over social media, Rockstar Games developers. They're very pissed that this got out early, and they were forced. Their hand was forced, and they had to pretty much put the the version up ahead of time. But there's also just a they're happy that people are finally being able to see what they've been working on for so long. And uh, we're seeing that all over social media, along with, of course, the reactions to the fact that this leaked ahead of time. And here's a couple more reactions, a little bit earlier than expected, but here it is, folks. So proud of everyone who worked on this game. It's going to be amazing. Uh, we had another developer, this is a former one, saying, the last game I worked on at Rockstar, I'm gutted it was revealed the way it was, but I hope you enjoy what the team's been hard at work creating. And then they... He followed it up with another tweet saying, The team deserves to watch it together and celebrate together. Heartbreaking that it was taken from them. We had another tweet. This is coming from an associate director, Gareth Evans, with a heartbreak. Just, again, a lot, lot of emotions being felt with this big leak. But, but say what you will about how all of this went down. This trailer is a behemoth and the excitement is through the roof for this game. And you know exactly what's going to happen for the next year. And it's going to be complete silence from Rockstar Games. But we'll be covering all of this on the channel. All of the news, everything that does come about. And it is worth mentioning, we did see a press release come from Rockstar Games. We got some new details about this experience. We actually had a comment coming from Sam Hauser, the founder of Rockstar Games. He says, Grand Theft Auto 6 continues our efforts to push the limits of what's possible in highly immersive story-driven open-world experiences. We're thrilled to be able to share this new vision with players everywhere. And ultimately, when you look at this footage, when you look at everything Grand Theft Auto 6 represents, it, it just... It's groundbreaking how far apart Rockstar Games is from the rest of this industry and why, again, so many development teams look at this company with awe. Now, we also did see a little bit of a synopsis for what Grand Theft Auto 6 is about. We head to the state of Leonida, home to the neon-soaked streets of Vice City and beyond. They're very secretive about that beyond part. In the biggest, most immersive evolution of the Grand Theft Auto series yet. And adding this in after recording, because I actually missed this major part of this press release, but it's the fact that we got the platforms for Grand Theft Auto 6, and it is that this is releasing for the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X slash S. And of course, it's going to be coming in 2025. The notable omission is the fact that this is not going to be a day one release for PC. Maybe not too surprising based on Rockstar's history, but I know a lot of people were holding out hope that that this would finally be the game that Rockstar gets day one for PC players, but that is not apparently going to be happening. And knowing Rockstar's history again, probably going to be until 2027 until PC players get access to the game. Assuming, of course, it does release in 2025, because we all know Rockstar's history with delays. Now, one thing I should just mention, if there was any hope that this was going to release on last-gen consoles, I never think it made, it made any sense, but yeah, it's dead. This is a current-gen-only release and uh, based on everything that Rockstar Games is trying to achieve in this game, it just makes sense that this isn't going to be releasing on last gen. But with that targeted 2025 release date, it is just worth mentioning right now that it's going to be a long time between trailer one 
until we get trailer two. With Grand Theft Auto V, I think it was around a year until we got our next trailer. With Red Dead, it was around seven or eight or so months. And with Grand Theft Auto VI, it's probably gonna be the same story. It'll probably be around this time next year when we see that next trailer. It may be a very early prediction, but I imagine trailer two is gonna be more of coming from Jason's perspective because trailer one definitely was very much focused on Lucia, how the game's gonna start from her perspective, and a lot of people actually got the sense that she was the only protagonist because of how that trailer was. And this is as big as it gets. There's so much anticipation for this game now. It's gonna be talked about for weeks and months, something I'll be doing on this channel, of course, and many other channels and other YouTubers and influencers and so on and so forth. This is an exciting time. We've been waiting so many years, so many moments in time where it's just been joked about Grand Theft Auto 6 is never gonna release, but here it is. And while there have been all kinds of reactions on social media to this massive reveal, I thought this was a pretty funny one coming from Ned Luke, who played Michael DeSanta in Grand Theft Auto V. Gotta be surreal for them watching this as they were just in this spotlight about 10 or so years ago. This is what he had to say about what surprised him the most of this trailer. Hey Ned, what's something that really surprised you with this trailer the most? Uh, how big the asses are. That's He's not wrong. Me. Uh, there's some big asses in that trailer. <laughs> I mean, a lot of them. It's almost every ass in that trailer, other than the, the male asses, were big, big, you know? And uh, that surprised me because, you know, Miami, Miami's got some, some, you know, not big asses too. <laughs> so it's like, you know, I mean, we'll, we'll see. I mean. Uh, you gotta love Ned Luke. You gotta love him. And uh, I do hope that maybe one day we see more of him in Grand Theft Auto. I don't know if that's a really a big role in Grand Theft Auto 6. I personally am hoping that they don't go too crazy with cameos, but maybe him, maybe he will return GTA Online too. You know, that's something a lot of people thought would be in the current iteration of GTA Online. Maybe save that for this, the upcoming version. Or maybe he will appear in the game. Who knows? But uh, it is worth mentioning that while these reactions have been mostly positive, there has been some backlash in regards to the fact that there is a female protagonist this was a given this has already been going on for a long time but uh yeah uh, well looks like gta 6 is gonna suck and uh yeah it, it's it's whatever this game is gonna come with controversy no matter what it's grand theft auto it only seems to upset and trigger people and i think rockstar games hopefully they understand you just have to accept that anyway for the most part largely everybody is extremely excited and while the developers like can understand their disappointment i hope that they realize just how how excited the overall gaming community really the world is i think we've seen some massive celebrities reacting to this trailer it just shows how much of a cultural phenomenon this franchise has become. It's crazy to think about 15 years ago, it was nowhere near the scale that it is nowadays. But anyway, what do you make of this recent Grand Theft Auto 6 news, the recent trailer, and how developers have reacted to this trailer leaking and then having to be officially released by Rockstar Games about 15 or so hours before the official reveal? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below, but thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a like if you did enjoy this video, and consider subscribing for a lot more videos like this and I'll see you later.